This one titanium white black marker just brought back a lot of memories of where Rocket League went wrong. Let me showcase it to you. And quickly before we do get into this video, with trading now gone from Rocket League, this is the next best thing by far. You can literally buy some of the rarest redeem codes in the whole entire game. So don't go spending $20 on a random black market. Click the link in the description and check it out today. So this is the titanium white Nero agitator that I got out of a trade up on, well, we're not even a trade up, a blueprint reveal. And if you don't know, get to know this is pretty much what happened but basically back in the day in 2019 i'm pretty sure a lot of you do know they removed crates completely and put in a load of blueprints so similar to what i did where i bought myself like 6,000 crates before trading got removed i bought up so many cr like crates to make sure they all got transferred into blueprints for a lot of content and i'm gonna go through some of the highlights i actually got back in those days but this was sort of like the main thing that everyone was like, right, what, what are Epic Games actually doing to the game? What are Rocket League actually doing? Because this was 2019. To think five years ago this happened is actually wild. That is so, so crazy to me. At that point in time, I think I had maybe not even 100k subs at that point, And I was still grinding every single day. I was live streaming on, what is it, Mixer? I'm pretty sure what it was. I was going to say Kick, but I'm pretty sure it was Mixer. Uh, but yeah, that didn't last long. I'm pretty sure Mixer shut down or something like that. I actually don't know, but these were really fun to do. But once they were actually completed, yeah, I didn't know what to do with the items because they just weren't even worth crafting, let's be fair. I don't think any other YouTuber was really doing this sort of stuff. To be fair, like, I just, I was stupid back in the day. I spent so much money pretty much just making the content by just buying this many crates. But I did get some good items. You can see White Shattered out of a random blueprint is quite ridiculous to be fair. And obviously, this was so long ago where the price was actually worth it. So you could craft it for 2.5k and set it for like 7 Back when, obviously, train was a thing. It was such a good time. But, yeah, that was sort of, like, the only rare moment I took a W because the rest of it, except for the white near agitator and the last item I'm going to showcase to you, the rest just weren't really that worthy. Like, with a shattered, I'm pretty sure they were worth, like, 2k. So, you'd be making it. And then you'd be like, right, now what do I do? If I can sell it, like, if, a massive if, I then get the credits back for it. But we got some random wheels right there. It was quite cool, though, to see what items you could actually get. And they were all, like, dedicated to their crate series. So, some people... I don't even know what it was. Got some, like, really, really rare items where they were glitched. And pretty much you could open up a CC1 painted rare decal and sell that decal on for tens of thousands of credits. It was just a bit of a weird time in Rocket League, to be honest. Because Blueprint sort of, I don't know. They kept the crate series the same. But, you know, obviously the whole entire scene was not happy about it. Because you couldn't open the crates anymore. This way, credits got announced into the game as well. Where they made the item shop prices ridiculous. They made Blueprint prices the exact same. I would say even worse, to be honest, because you're getting black markets. You've got to pay 2k up front, but the exotics were like 1.6. It was an absolute joke. But to be honest, like I said already, it was actually a really fun time in Rocket League for about 10 minutes, and then it got extremely boring. That's the, that's the sort of thing about it, because it then got it set in stone that we've now got credits that are really, really hard to profit from, because with keys back in the day, you had to be, you could be really, really stingy and still make a ton of profit, or really, really stubborn, that's the word I'm looking for, and you'd make more per trade, pretty much, with the keys, etc, and yeah, you can see right there, we get a dissolver, and one of the final items is a regular mainframe, pretty sure one more, then we've got the ridiculous one, uh, yep, yeah, we get a white twinser, and then randomly, I did one one day, I wasn't even recording or live streaming, I'm pretty, I was live streaming, bang, White Fennec, absolutely unreal. But of course, make sure you are subscribed for more daily Rocket League content. And yeah, guess I'll see you tomorrow.